Okay, and live microphone. Okay, good. <clears> hey, <throat> right, we're back for building more Omneth. Locus of all. So, been picking out cards for him where you are all over the place, like <clears throat> between the five color nature of Omneth and all the different things he can interact with. Like, all he cares about is um, ma colored mana symbols and the casting cost of your spells. So, <clears throat> if you have any combination of three or more mana symbols, like colored mana symbols in, his casting co in the casting cost of the spell that he reveals, then you're good to go. <clears throat> so, Omnath has a lot of potential there. He also has his first ability, which is similar to original Omnath, except that... <clears throat> Uh, the mana is black instead of green, and he holds on to all of your mana, not just the unspent green mana. So, <clears throat> you know, if you tap something for, like, red, and then you wind up not spending that red mana, then it turns black instead of going away, and you get to hang on to it, <clears throat> which allows Omnath to do other things, like cast huge X spells, by building up mana over the course of a turn or two, so. So, yeah, Omnath, Locus of All. So, we have been just going through sets, and <clears throat> I keep finding stuff, but a lot of it's pulling in different directions, like, and I don't want to build anything where by the time we're done, it would just make more sense to run a different commander that's more focused on whatever sub-theme I'm on with Omnath. <clears throat> yep, gonna choke to death again, because that is how we do here. Uh, for example, there are a lot of legendary dragons with three different colored mana symbols in their casting cost. And the problem with that is that they work better if I'm just the Ur-Dragon for some of them, and for other things, it's like, um, yeah, would I be better off if I were um, something along the lines of, like, Radadrabic or something where I care about legendary creatures more? <clears throat> but there are a lot of, like, three mana symbol in the casting cost legendary dragons, so, you know, it's kind of hard not to run some of them, but if I load up entirely on dragons, then at that point I should just be the Ur-Dragon. If I load up entirely on legendaries, then I should probably be one of the Dominaria remastered things. <clears throat> you know, like, um, oh god, what's his name? Uh, Joda or something? You know, why, why am I even bothering <clears throat> uh, with Omnath when I could just be Joda and have a coat of arms for legendaries? Or, like, five-color mono-white Captain Sisse from the uh, modern sets. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's very difficult to figure out, like, a an actual identity for Omnath right now. So that's what we're trying to do, is figure out how we're going to differentiate Omnath from some of the other five-color nonsense decks that are out there. That is one of the few things that is actually difficult with five color commanders is if they are not pointing you in a very specific direction and Omnath is pretty general uh, as far as commanders go like he, he just wants you to have lots of colored mana symbols and he's got an upwelling but it's a little weird so because <clears throat> if you were an upwelling for all of your mana if you just straight up did not lose mana out of your mana pool uh, there would be different cards that would be in consideration. Like, I would be a lot more likely to run uh, more X spells than I'm already considering. Just because you could build up mana over... And then having the colored mana symbols and the casting cost would just allow you to generate more mana. And potentially just cast huge spells in one turn. And then we would probably focus a little more on that, but... Since the only 
retains the mana as black mana. It's not like it's super hard to adjust him for that, you know. A lot of X spells only need like a single other color, you know, or two, and with all of our mana fixing, we're going to have access to all of the different colors anyway, so you know, getting two red together for a rolling thunder or, you know, the double white to go along with the double black for Dead of the Deathless or, you know, like a death grasp effect or something. Not too difficult. <clears throat> but yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna figure out Omnath eventually. We just keep pulling out cards for him. I'm not expecting a ton from Mercadian Masks. Although now that I'm looking at Black Market and I'm thinking about how he's just generating infinite black mana anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know that we're going to need that, but... Just generating more... Like, we already have Braid of Fire, so... Black Market is not unreasonable here. We also may or may not want the um, <clears throat> Altar of Shadows from Mirrodin. Walls gets counters. Got the card that you name. Nope. <clears throat> I mean, somewhat tempting, like, how from beyond on a stick, but I think we can do better than that. <clears throat> Even if it is a weird pseudo repeatable fireball effect. Yeah, I don't think we need any of the spell shapers, don't need Shomano. No need conspiracy for anything. Oh, there we go. Kragsarian. Uh, our source deals damage to Kragsarian. That source's controller gains control of it. Perfectly worth jumping through the hoops of triple red for a 4-4. Four, four. Green. Sanctuary. Draw a card, then discard a card. Eight. Two. Touring Lens, Dust Bowl. Fargo. Wait, I don't think we need a Tzirion? Oh, he went away. I was gonna mock him, but... <clears throat> there we go. Tri triple black and X, and it destroys all creatures of mana value X or less. <clears throat> yeah, probably not. Anytime the deck relies super heavy on its commander, um, less likely to play Wrath Effects unless they either don't kill the commander or are just the best Wrath Effects in general, so that way if my commander's not out or I'm not in a good position with him, I can just kill everything. Groundskeeper is basic land, but scrolling through things. I don't think we care about anything up here, but... I think we need Foster, Mountain Watch, Game Preserve. Okay. Gush. Market. Fallen. Good 
Uh, creatures I control have fear. Yeah, it's a thing. Grant, they love building. Seder, Rium. Don't worry, we'll find something eventually. By find, I mean come across one of the cards that I was probably going to run in this deck anyway. From here, we just need to get to it and make sure there's nothing else in the set. That card should be on the next page. Right here somewhere. No, no to power matrix. Pulverize. Ozeans. Reverent mantra. Ah, there we go. Rushwood Elemental. Exactly the card I was thinking of. Uh, I forgot there was going to be like a quad green creature coming up. A little bit distracted. Don't think we want any of the Saprazins. Alright, where's my Rushwood Elemental? That way. Delmonger, no, Sand Squid, Bailiff, Breaker, Air, Legate, Outrigger, Raider. Nope, oh, none of these. Okay. Cosmic Mage, Never Soul. Nope. It, no. About no. There we go, Soothsaying. That's the actual one I was expecting to find. <clears throat> yeah, Omnath cares so much about the hard on top meeting his requirements that things that let you rearrange the top pile of cards in your deck. This seems super good here. So pop, Sue's saying, and um what's its name? Uh Squirrel Rack. <clears throat> All have a very high chance of making it in the deck. Like Scroll Rack's just good for adding two mana, if nothing else. Like you take the card from your hand, you swap it with the next card on top for like one mana tapping scroll rack and then you reveal that card and get those three mana back and so you're up two mana like just doing that is normally going to be fine but then being able to deck manipulate on a much larger scale with it later on don't need tech break territorial dispute Definitely don't need Thieves Auction. Good old Thrashing Wumpus. No, sorry, Title Kraken. You are not where I want to be with this deck. Hunger, Uphill Battle, Vendetta. No. Where he beats. Okay. Thing else from Mercadian Masks. Garage. Yep. Amulet Ancestral Memories. Think so. Not terrible for clearing out cards I didn't want on top with, you know, like the suit saying or the um scroll rack, but 
that's like its primary use in this deck, because we don't need to dump a bunch of cards into the graveyard for any reason, so... Not so almighty, Brushwog. Circle of Despair. <clears throat> I don't think so, Crimson Hellkite. Thank you for your offer, though. Fighter, early harvest. Six. Um, do we have, how many enchantments do we have that we would actually want? I think I looked at our enchantments before, but, so we have aura shards, fires maybe, <clears throat> debtor's nail, braid of fire, maelstrom nexus, ascendancy, probably not bard class, like the more, the deeper we get, the less likely I am to run that. Uh, Kami War, Fire Emancipation, Necropotence, Black Market, and Soothsaying. Hey! Go up to Mirage. We'll consider Enlightened Tutor then. There's that snooms. Hey, life prevent the next damage will be dealt to ethereal champions a three four. Nope. No. Rip. Saken Waste. Great Bane. Grim Feast. This illicit auction. <clears throat> Every charm. Malignant growth, there is equity. <clears throat> Don't think we need Mystical Tutor as much as we would need Enlightened Tutor if we need any of the, like, card type specific tutors. Like, we do have plenty of instants and sorceries, but they're less high impact compared to the enchantments. Like, we'll be tutoring for removal spells at that point, or um, specific um, ultimatums or something. If we just take, um, if we just put Mystical Tutor in the deck, and I don't think that's as important as getting some of the more powerful enchantments online. Like, we're already going to have access to Black's tutors, so... I'm way more likely to run, like, Demonic, Vampiric, and... Um, you know, like, Grim, maybe, or something, than I am to need, like, a Mystical tutor here. It does help that I can tutor it to the top to make sure that it triggers Omnath. <sighs> Maybe that's still worth it. <clears throat> Alright. 
the fact that it does actually put it on top in time for Omnath to see it. Like, the sorcery speed ones we won't be able to use. Okay. I had a bit of lunch stuck up on my gums, and I just found it and had to deal with that. But anyway... Um, the sorcery speed ones, because Omnath triggers at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, right? Yeah, so we won't have an opportunity to cast a sorcery before he triggers, but we will have opportunities to cast instants, so that way we can put the specific card that we want on top, so that way we will reveal it with Omnath and then get the extra mana and then be able to cast it, so... That's still probably worth it for one mana. Like, it doesn't. If Omnath were in a position where it would open him up to using, like, Imperial Seal, then I probably wouldn't bother with uh, Mystical Tutor, but. Kind of not paying attention to these cards. Because I'm too focused on the mystical tutor thing. <clears throat> mystical trickery, polymorph, preferred selection, purgatory. Terror, vibrations, Nestlisk. Twister, seal fate. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, Spear of the Night. Like, stat wise and keyword wise, you're doing okay, but I don't actually think I need you. Like, again, do I want worldly tutor then if I'm running the other tutors on the same basis? Well, okay, there is Nicol Bolas. I was going to say we're not going to find a creature up here, but there is technically Nicol Bolas. Um... Like, we're... Probably going to want to tutor something that has the triple color in it. Knight's Reach, Angel, Tide Spout, Board of Notions. <sighs> yeah, there's probably going to be enough creatures to consider it. Alright, back to Mirage then. It is very weird to me to run all of these uh, specific tutors in a deck that has access to black and therefore all of black's tutors. But thanks to the way Omnath works and actually cares about the card being on top of his deck at the right time, does push them closer to being playable. We might wind up cutting them, but... <clears throat> like, I'm way more likely to run these tutors, though, than... Like, let's say the white-green card that just puts it directly into your, like, Aladdin Reese call. Like, I'm way more likely to run a Worldly Tutor than an Aladdin Reese call at that point. Because putting the creature on top will guarantee Omnath's trigger on top of getting you the card in hand. Whereas the other tutors will just put it in your hand and then you're kind of down a mana or two instead, so... All right, so there's Altar of Shadows. Yeah, 
you know, I might be in the market for that. No guarantees, though. It is a seven drop artifact, but the fact that I can start generating mana with it over time while killing things and that I have ways to make sure I not only generate the mana, like, you know, have things to do with the mana, but also that it's never going to waste unless Omnath dies before I can use it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Arc Slogger, Assert Authority. Link Moth Urn. Chalice New. Oh, we might be able to Chalice for somebody's commander with this deck, you know, just. And here's Chalice on six. So, Commander's dead, and he's never coming back while this is in play. Good luck with that one. All right, so there's Consume Spirit if I want it. X one black sorcery. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have room for that one. Like Dead of the Deathless and um, Exsanguinate are the two most likely to make it into the deck out of the Drain Life ones specifically, but there's always a chance that the other ones can make it in. I need them. Uh, vault, disarm, duplicant, dusk war or yeah, dusk worker. <clears throat> oh, extra planar lens. You are terrible in this deck. You are actively bad. Yeah, we probably want a Gilded Lotus. It's kind of hard to say no. <sighs> I mean, we are definitely able to power Glissa, but I don't think... That's quite where we want to be at for artifact destruction. It is funny though, because we do we would have infinite mana to work with. We need hum of the radix. The bubble. Radiate Isochron Scepter no. X proof standard. Yeah, I should add lightning greaves. Yep. Reeves? No. Reeves. Uh, living Hive, no. Lodestone Mirror. Punisher. Warhammer. Yeah, if I didn't want, like, uh, Verdant Force and whatnot, I don't think I want Luminous Angel. Even if we can get the three white mana from it. Mind Slaver. Hey, I just know Stream Elements is doing that thing where it doesn't announce I've gone live. What's up with you lately, Stream Elements? You been, been doing okay?
Is there any way to provoke it to do that? Uh, refresh its overlay. Hmm. Go viewer count, hotkeys, custom bot name. Okay. Word. Good alerts. Yeah, no, I got no idea why it's doing that. I did that the other day too, like I went live and was playing the Final Fantasy VII remake and at no point in time did the stream elements bot go, oh, hey, Saber went live. Like, what, what's wrong, stream elements bot? Are you sad inside? Do you just not feel it anymore? Are you worried that I stream too much? You don't want to do all of my announcements. Uh, Necrogen Mists. Like, like when I, if it doesn't pop up, is it sending out the alert that I've gone live? Because I know that other streamers that are bigger than me, they'll see people come in and they'll be like, oh, hey, I never got the alert that you were live. And like, they only realized it because they normally check to see. Hey, right. add in Oblivion Stone because I have a problem and... I'm not getting any help for it anytime soon, so Oblivion Stone is just going on the list, and we'll take it off if we get to a point where it's like, yeah, no, we got enough other removal that can dance around our own stuff. Uh, seven mana, eight eight hex proof. Hmm, meh. Draw five cards, lose five life, or create an XX demon with flying, where X is the number of cards in my hand. I can spend an extra four mana to do both. Eh. It's not the worst, but it's also not amazing. Um, let's see, Reaver Demon would be five. After Omnath's trigger, and it wouldn't kill Omnath. Maybe, maybe Reaver Demon. Four, one, two, four. Demon. The six six. Yeah, I do like that better than Dread Keiko Demon. <clears throat> I think it's a bit easier on the mana, and the actual body is more relevant, and still doesn't kill Omnath. So, just the main thing I care about with things like this. Seething Song. And none of these cards. Oh, the Solar Tide. That robot is terrible in this deck. Sylvan Scrying. No. No. I think I need Tooth and Nail. Also, that'll just tempt me to add in, um, what's their name, Zealous Conscripts, to go along with the Kiki Jiki that I'm already considering running, but probably won't because too many of my cards are legendary. Uh, enters the battlefield, sacrifice unless an opponent was dealt damage this turn. When an opponent's dealt damage, put that many 1 1 counters on War Elemental. Yeah, it's not impressive enough. Also, the fact that you have to have already dealt them damage 
reduces the likelihood that you'll be able to deal them more damage after it comes down that turn. Also, with the way our commander works, we would have to have dealt them damage, you know, before combat. Although that, if we dealt damage to them before combat, then that undoes the whole, then we probably won't be able to deal damage to them again this turn. But anyway. Either way, it's not a particularly good card for what we're doing. Onward to Mirrodin Besieged. Uh, Black Sun Zenith. Meh. Light Steel, probably not. Yeah, if we're going to... Run card draw like that. Blue Sun Zenith is one of the ones I would seriously consider. X, blue, blue, blue. It's an instant. Yeah, being able to pay X to draw X cards and then shuffle this thing back into my deck so I can draw even more cards later on seems fine. Also has the random value of if we're if we've built up a huge thing of mana with Omnath, we can just kill a player by decking them. Which is not the best plan, but it is a way to win if somebody gains like ten trillion life off an infinite combo. And we haven't found like if we bother to run him, we haven't found original Soren yet. It was also good for things like that, like opponent just has it functionally infinite life and it's just like and now you're a 10 oh we do also have the sphinx that does that on the list right now so if we needed to target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand i don't think we're putting enough of our own artifacts into the graveyard consistently where Gleesa would actually be good. Like, most of them are going to be repeatable use effects that the opponent has to destroy, not um, artifacts that we sacrifice to do a cool thing. Okay, I don't see Gleesa actually being what we want. Uh, don't think we need Green Sun... The heroes. There is into the core, but I don't think I didn't do the thing for my Coria, right? The exile three enchantments. Right, we're just a pile of ultimatums here. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. So Down there. Uh, Legion, no. Courier, Flame Fiend. Relic Warder. Oh, there's our Massacre Worm. We probably do want that. Three, black, black, black. The Phyrexian Worm now, right? Yep. Phyrex. Six, five. Eight. Mastery. Crusader. Hydra, Revoker. Praetor's Council. Turn all cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Praetor's Council. You have no maximum hand size. That is a pretty bomby effect that we can cast for, you know, potentially five mana. Redraw our entire graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, I like me some Praetor's Council. Ooh. 
Is it plural possessive or is it a? Oh no, it's a single one. Okay. Wasn't sure if it was all of their council at once or individual members at a time. Three into sorcery. Okay. Uh, quilled slagworm, on the other hand, not so much. Um, uh, do not need red sun at all. Septic rats, signal pest, flag storm, spine. That Tezzeret, no. Thrun, no. Uh, Victory's Herald. No, I don't think so. White Sun, no. Okay. Yeah, one too many. Besieged. Uh, Modern Horizons. Okay. I uh, don't need Free Folk, Alpine Guide, Answered Prayers. Don't think we need Archmage's Charm. Like that three blue is going to be too obnoxious as a counter spell. So. I don't think we need Ayula's influence either. Therapist. And the slivers. Selected conjuring. Crashing footfalls. Forest. Echo of Eons, Ladmary's Call, Endling New, Ephemerate. I don't think we need any of the forces. All these goblins. What a hex drinker. Hogak. Fine Quaddle. Genius Infiltrator. Yeah, if we didn't want Kess before, I don't think we need her now. Uh, I doubt we need the Skelemental. Don't need the three Lalamore Elves stapled together. Orophon, the Boundless. Enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Spells of the chosen type you cast cost... All that colors less to cast. This effect reduces only the amount of colored mana you pay. Other creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Yeah, see, this is one of the ones where if I were running the dragons, like if I were just going to go all in on dragons, you know, we put Morophon in also, so that way my dragons can cost up to all the colors of mana less. Yeah, I don't think we want more of fun. Because I don't think we're going to be that tightly focused on creature types. Where we can really take advantage of it. Sargian, Pashalic Mons. Found Accomplice, Pondering Mage. Ranger Captain. Keep the past.
Pyromancer, see Pyromancer, Sarah. And again. Hey, it gets plus one plus one for each color among other legendary permanents you control. Search your library for a legendary permanent card with mana value less than Sisei's power. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Uh, she could be a 7-7. Seven, seven. We can get permanents with mana value 6 or less. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't actually think we need to say. Okay. I mean, if we had other effects that were going to be boosting her up too, like using her to search up Joda and then having her get stronger, that's kind of tempting. And she would be able to search up Joda immediately. But yeah, I don't think we actually need that. Does she tap to do the thing? No, she's just all five colors of mana. So theoretically, we could activate her twice in a turn. If we wanted to. Hey, maybe I should add her to the list just in case. All right, so Modern Horizons. Her proper title is Sisse Weatherlight Captain. Two and a white for a human soldier. Yeah, if we wind up cutting Joda, I'd probably wind up cutting her also. But until then, the fact that every time I tutor up another legend, because Joda is five colors also, so even if Omnath's not in play, Joda would be at that point, and Sisei can <clears throat> keep game power. Although tutoring up Joda becomes a lot harder when I don't already have another five color legend to make sure Sisei's strong enough. Um, yeah, we're not running slivers, so we don't need the first sliver. Oops. First sliver. Tornado, Throat Seeker, Throws of Chaos, new. No. And Silk, Unbound Flourishing. There's a Lord High Artificer. And then Renan Six, Yogmoth, and Zalfir and Decoy. Okay. That was the first Modern Horizons. Now for the second Modern Horizons. Nope. No. Yeah, we're not going to run the Storm Legend. We are still probably not casting more than like two spells at most in a turn. Mm. Two Shock. Root Walla. Braids. Break ties. Mm, no, Braze Apprentice. Calibrated Blast. 
Artha Lion, Trainer, Batterfang. Uh, enter the battlefield in number of loyalty cash on equal number of lands you control. Surveil, exile a creature, and you may put an artifact card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. So, as long as we have three lands, Dakin is exile target creature. We have four more lands, he's exile a creature, and then maybe distract an opponent. They don't have, like, if it actually takes effort to chip in at him. I still don't think that's great. And since he's got one of those abilities where they can't really control how much loyalty he's going to start with consistently, his ultimate isn't really much of anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's close. Because he would essentially be free off of Omnath, but... Breaker, Fractured Sanity, no... Oh, right, I forgot about Garth. Um, tap, choose a card name that hasn't been chosen from among Disenchant, Brain Geyser, Terror, Shivan Dragon, Regrowth, and Black Lotus. Create a copy of the card with the chosen name. You may cast the copy. Still pay its costs. Does the copy still have the timing restrictions, or can you cast it? Uh, resolving copies of permanent spells become tokens. Ability resolves, you must choose one of the listed card names. You may choose not to cast the copy created, but you won't be able to choose that card name again later. Uh, keeps track of, but not the others. You must pay the cost for the chosen card, but you can cast the copy as the ability resolves, which may not be at the time you could normally cast that card. So he does allow for instant speed, brain geyser, and regrowth, in addition to getting disenchant, terror, and flash in a Shivan dragon. He has a black lotus he's just walking around with. Um. Hmm. I was also looking at uh, uh, Dihada down there while I'm trying to decide if I want Garth or not. I think he's more fun than good. Like ma making making a Black Lotus is always a fun, silly thing to do, but. 
I don't think we have we're going to have any real ways to abuse him beyond that. I don't know if we're actually going to have room for a card like Conjurer's Closet or Teleportation Circle or something to reset cards like him or re-trigger the comes into play effects on the other cards that we're going to be running. Yeah, I don't think so. Moving on to Dehada. This is two life and you gain two life and you put a corruption counter on up to one other target creature or planeswalker. Steal a creature or planeswalker for a turn and put a counter on it and just steal everything with the counters on them. Yeah, ultimately, I don't think we need her either. Like, the most common thing we're going to do with her is put her down, use her plus one, make it so that one specific thing can't murder her, and then have her die to something else entirely. Seems like the most uh, likely thing to happen when we use her, so... That's not exactly making me want to jam her in the deck. Like, we don't have any ways to realistically protect her beyond, you know, we just happen to have stuff in play. I don't think her own ability is going to be quite good enough to save her. Alright, I'm doing that thing again, so let's bounce back up. Because... I'm not paying anywhere near enough uh, attention to everything else. There she is. All right, Drifter, no. Flint Blade, no. We're not doing tokens. Red and green spells. Bardment. Absolute Restoration. Bit of Grief. Wrist. Uh, Healer's Flock, no, I don't think I need three, um, whatever they, whatever the bird was actually called. Is it called, it's probably called Healer's Hawk, that would make sense. That's why it's Healer's Flock. Yeah, I don't need three of them stapled together. Also, who's going around stapling all these things together? It's horrifying. Uh, Karmic Guide, Knighted Mirror... As a tap. Lannis. Vegas of the Bridge. Okay. Action no, Necrogoyf no, Nettlesis no. All of these. Flying lifelink, beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice unless you pay the three colors. Does it deals seven damage to each non legendary creature? It's not terrible, but it's also not thrilling, so. Profane Tutor. Uh, I always kind of want to run Profane Tutor. Because it's one of those things, like, with some of those spells, you suspend them, and everybody knows that they're coming, and they can do things to um, mess with it, like, 
cards like Restore Balance or um, the Wheel Wheel of Fortune variant, like Wheel of Fate or whatever. Like people see them coming and they do things, you know, they make sure that their board isn't going to get absolutely wrecked by the balance or, you know, they cast out all of their spells so that way they'll get a fresh grip of 7-2 from the wheel, you know, things like that. But with the tutor, it's like, okay, if you mess up my plans, I just go get whatever is best for me now <laughs> when the spell's resolving. Uh, I don't think we need Ragavan. Got enough of our own spells to cast every turn. Uh, choose a card type. You and creatures you control have protection from the chosen card type. <clears throat> eh. No, I don't think so. Step through. Keep the skies. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need Thrasta. Upheaval. Mm. Nope. Okay. Oh, no, wait, there is one more page. I almost went back, but... Void mirror... Hydra, uh, Young Necromancer, Zabaz, nope, okay. Thanks, so that's both Modern Horizon sets. Uh, modern Masters, Morning Tide. Bitter Blossom, Bold Weir, Borderland, Barrington Folk, Healing Colossus, Nope. Verdict no flood chaser or changelings. Grimoire thief, heritage druid. <clears throat> Don't need idyllic tutor. Life for each permit you control of that type. Nope. Born Song, Mind Shatter, Mind Spring. Hogan <coughs> 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 Whack, Glorious Throng. Gaminic Captain, Prickly Boggart. No. 
think we need the Revel Arc. Titan's Revenge. Conscience. Yep, okay. Morning Tide. Uh, mystery Booster Nemesis. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, Nemesis, surprise me. I have something really good for my deck. Uh, Dark Triumph, Fine Vanguard, Dominate. No. Eh. Probably not with the Flowstone Overseer, just because getting that much red mana would be an issue. If he were, like, three colorless instead, then maybe. <clears throat> like, yeah, we can cheat him into play pretty easy, and then we could kill things even indestructible with enough mana. Then I might be interested, but... At double red to activate, we're not going to be able to get the activation. Like, we're not going to be able to do more than, like... <sighs> Let's see. If we have 40 lands in our deck, we're going to have... Um, the four dual lands will make red. Um, what is it, like... Eight of the Triomes, that's 12. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get more than like plus, uh, plus six, minus six at most. And that's assuming we have like every red source in our deck for lands. So even with things like Gilded Lotus and whatnot, we're probably, like the best we can do is probably plus three minus three most of the time. Maybe plus four minus four. So. Uh, pay half your life, destroy target non black creature. Meh. I can do better. Got a little too fast there. I don't think we need any of the Parallax enchantments, though. Uh, no, the Nesting Worm. No, no. Overlay Terrain, definitely not. Yeah, we don't need Tide, we don't need Wave. I don't think anybody has ever actually needed Nexus before. Gain six life. Royal enchantments. First cluster. No sky shroud behemoth. No. Asylum. All wrath. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. But we gotta check because I cannot remember all of the magic cards. I can't remember more than like <sighs> probably closer to like 30 or 40 percent of them, but that's because there's like, you know, well, like, almost 50% of the magic cards at this point are barely worth remembering, or worse, so. Oh, Beast Within. 
Plated agent. Age son new. Ah, the chancellors. Are any of them actually worth it? Uh, Annex makes everybody's spells cost one more. Adross is flying lifelink. Forges. X one ones with haste, where X is the number of creatures I control. Cast target instant or sorcery from my opponent's graveyard. And vigilance and reach. Yeah, none of these. Draining an opponent three, starting with a one one. Uh, milling everybody's seven cards isn't doing anything, and getting an extra green, maybe, but probably not. Uh, number Elish Norn Remove five counters Target player draws three cards Eh Ten ten like, It's not the worst but I don't think we're going to have room for it. Oh, Geo Surge. Why you got to be like that? I mean, I know why you keep training rituals together and you do stupid things, but. You know, the Jenga Texas, Jorkadine. X Ghost Soul Eater Rexy Metamorph. Do we want Obliterator? Whenever a source deals damage to Obliterator, that source's con controller sacrifices that many permanents. Hmm. Like, it's super easy for this deck to cast it. Despite its five color nature, I just don't know if we actually care or not. Like, you know. It's okay. As long as it doesn't die to, you know, like, either getting swept up along with a bunch of other things that we have. Or, you know, just very easily dealt with. If it gets in for damage first because players don't want to lose permanence and then they kill it, it's okay. I think ultimately we can do better, though. Also, we probably want to consider Phyrexian Metamorph because we have tons of potential things for it to copy. Metamorph. Hybrid flat or blue Rexian Pyrexian shapeshift. There we go. There's all of its game text. Raiders grass. Pre Orobrask, First Steel, First Bone, Keys, Joldred, Spider, Spider, Toxicam, Triumph of the Hordes, No, Orobrask, Eh. Probably not. I probably just want the enchantments and artifacts that give haste. Um. Any interest in Vorin Clex? Probably not. Like, at that point, I think I would want to have had the Mirari, or not Mirari, uh, Mirari's Wake in the deck. 
before I would want Vorinclex for that effect. If he didn't have... Like, if he had triple green in his casting cost, then maybe I want him more. But... Alright, so that was New Rexia. New Oath of the Gatewatch. Um, Eile, Bailoff, Null, Up, Bo, Andra, Membrane, Nichols, Seaver, shaking my head at all of these cards because none of them are going to make the deck. I meant. Yeah, this is kind of the anti-Omnath. Uh, search your library for an ally. Reveal and put in your hand, then shuffle. Ally creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of colors among those creatures. Nope. Sorry, General. This is not the army you were meant to command. This Kozilek. Vala Yeah, was not expecting anything from this deck, uh, or this set rather. Hector, Atlas, Roiling, Scion. Final word. Crafter, one roll. Our resurgent, so no. Okay. Did not think so. Like, Oath of the Gate Watch being an Eldrazi focus set is awfully hard for it to have anything. <clears throat> nope, sorry, Abishan. Uh, no to Ancestral Tribute. No to the Atagatog. Even if he is King of the Atogs. Would find them all very delicious. Uh, no to beast attack. Uh, I don't think we need the patriarch. The herd. <clears throat> Whole bunch of cephalids. Go to Charm Pendant. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, put another 1-1 one, one counter on it. Nope. Crystal Quarry. Exchange. Uh, do we want Decimate? Probably not. I think we're going to have enough Decimate variants that don't have the restriction of needing one of each of the original permanent types in play. Look at all these dwarves. Tomb. Fervent Denial, Flame Burst. And note a Gravestorm. Gravestorm is one of those cards that I loved during the actual, like, standard it was in, because everybody was so graveyard-focused that it usually drew, like... Sometimes it would draw you cards anyway, and sometimes you would just have to remove your opponent's graveyard from the game, so it would draw you cards because you did that. 
So it turned Tormod's Crypt type effects into, um, you know, like the various artifacts that do that, only you got to draw the cards and get rid of the graveyard at the same time. So it usually wound up working out. I think we need Karmic Justice. But yeah, every time I see it, I kind of want to do it, like put it in the Commander deck, and then it's just like, yeah, but Commander, there's just like too many cards in graveyards, and you know, not enough people that care, so I will wind up not drawing a card most of the time. That makes me sad. One day, maybe I'll have a dedicated, like, it, the card itself will have an effect that rewards me for removing cards in the opponent's graveyard, and that'll be the commander, so Gravestorm will go into that deck. I uh, do not need Master Apothecary. I don't think we want the Murari. Don't think we can any of the Mystics or the Nantuko. Various Lich. Yeah. Nope. They don't need Overrun, and I don't think we will by the time we get to Tempest. Patron Wizard, no. Vampire. <clears throat> and they don't need Seton. Shelter, Shifty, Skull Fracture, Eggs. Spheres, Bloodsucker, Standstill, Stone Tongue Basilisk, Stretch, No. Mind Fury, <clears throat> Empire Dragon, Holly Shard, no. Real quick, the triple red card was Dwarven Blood Boiler, right? And I just glossed over him because I'm not running Dwarves, so I didn't need him. Oh, is he on page two? Yeah, he'd be on page two. Right. I'll go forward one. Ah, whoops. Maybe I did go forward one and didn't notice it. Yeah. Um. No, it's not. There should be a triple red card also, because triple black is Gravestorm, white is Master Apothecary, blue is Patron Wizard, and green is Seton. What was the triple red card in this set? I didn't even notice it. I assumed it was Dwarven Blood Boiler, but that must be from one of the follow-up sets then. Unless his name is just Blood Boiler. Maybe that's it. So if we go back to page one and we go up to the bees. That's true. There's also Chlorophant, so maybe there's... Maybe it's not actually a theme. Maybe it's a coincidence. Hurdler. Maybe it is a coincidence then, and there just isn't a triple red card in this set. 
I'm pretty sure there's a card called Dwarven Blood Boiler that's in this block, though, that is triple red and buffs up your dwarves. Oh, well. Onward to Onslaught. Where we will be adding in all of the fetch lands. Uh, I don't need Aggravated Assault, the Chroma's Vengeance, the Dredging No, Arcanus, don't think so. He's not terrible in this deck, but he's also not amazing, so. Uh, definitely don't need the Brigadier, we don't have enough birds or soldiers for that. Iron Rhythms Band, Blatant Thievery. Blatant Thievery is not terrible in this deck. I could see that one making it. The Onslaught. Blatant Thievery. Four, one, two, three, and it's a sorcery. Like, just grabbing a bunch of opponent's lands, if nothing else, early on. Fire cat we don't need. There's Bloodstain Mire. Uh, Butcher Org. Player and any number of creatures they control. Yeah. Again, not terrible, but not super useful. We can be doing much better with some of the other things we already have selected. So. New Crowns, Cruel Revival. Full Sturge. Bruce, Blast Miner, Blade Reaper, Elves, Enchantress, Lecture, Exalted Angel. That's one of the ones that get the basics. False Cure. Flooded Strand. There's Future Sight, which we probably are interested in. And some enchantment. We're already going to have enough, um, like, top card of our deck manipulation to begin with to make Future Sight and Bolus of Citadel very interesting to us. So, And both of those cards have the triple color in the casting cost, so they both work for Omnath. So. Eh, probably don't need gratuitous violence. Seems itself very gratuitous for the deck. Um, Insurrection. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said Insurrection wasn't at least worth considering. I've read... Oops, red, red, red. Sorcery. Uh, Jareth. No, I don't think so. Paul. No. Bossus. Uh, 
Ground Shaker. Uh, Riff, Bar, Menace, Booger, Mist Form Creatures. Specific proportions, I don't think so. Luna Delta. Delta. Game Prayer, Psychic Trance. Faith. <clears throat> Tide Folks. Risky Move. No. Works Blade Wing. No. Silvos. Sparksmith, all of these standardized Starstorm, and no symbiotic worm. X page. Gladiator, Sara the Dreadful. Eh. Do I want Vesara at all? I have multiple ways to give haste right now, so maybe there's a world we want her in. Cool. Three, black, black, black. Oh no, she's not three, she's like five, right? Oh no, she is three, black, black, black. She's a five, five. Morgan. Sara. Voice new. Void mage. Wayfarer. Windswept heath. Wood foothills. Almost at the end, at wooded foothills. Oops. There we go. Firewoods, foothills, don't need any words, and wretched annual. Okay. All reasonable. Hey, okay, so that was Onslaught, Phyrexia, all will be one. No, no, no to the namesake card. That's core. Tracks of the Grand Unifier. Top 10 cards of our library for each card type. We put a card of that type from among the reveal cards into our hand and the rest on the bottom of the library in a random order. Probably. Tracks of the Grand Unifier. She is three and the other colors, yeah. Three, white, blue, black, skip, red, green. She's a Phyrexian Angel 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep. Phyrexian Angel 7-7. Seven, seven. Skitterfang, though. 
Silica, Black Sun's Twilight, Whip, Blue Sun. Uh, enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard. Choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them and copy it. <sighs> yeah, it's probably too hard to get any significant value out of Hellraiser. Like, if we could cast it early enough after casting something like one of the ultimatums, then maybe, but that seems like it's asking too much, and I don't think Hellraiser is going to be particularly good otherwise. Um, do we want to consider Norn just because she's Norn? Maybe? White Rexing Predator Four Seven. Yeah, Norn is worth considering just for the um shutting off the opponents comes into play abilities if we have room for. Her. If we don't, that's fine. Uh, Forge Centurion. Death, no. Sunslayer, no. Green Sun's Twilight. Icker Moon Gauntlet. Jace, Kaido, Harmonix. All right, this version of Kaya. It's hexproof. Her plus is kind of whatever. Her zero is kind of whatever. Her minus three is where she's at her strongest, which she can do immediately. Yeah, killing your best thing and giving me a 1-1 one -one copy of it is kind of interesting. Also, she does have to be attacked to death. They, or, like, Planeswalker affecting Wrath away. So, there's that. And if, and if she's just not getting killed, then just upticking her until we get a better target for her minus three again seems fine. And letting the opponent scry one is not the worst if I'm drawing the card, so maybe. Okay, what is her title again? Kaya Intangible Slayer. Intangible, Intangible. Three, white, white, black, black. Walker and six, right? Seven. Better. That's Kaya. Emba. Koth. Alright, so plus one gives us red and green only to cast creatures or activate abilities. Three, three, and next damage. Yeah, we probably don't need to. Uh, blows Undrak, no uh, Nahiri, probably not we're not going to empty out our hand so she's never just plus one to draw a card um, and making token copies of our dead things isn't super helpful if they don't stick around Yeah, Nisa is just kind of a big dumb creature factory in this deck. Um, 
Although if we do flip her up, we could theoretically cast her for... Let's see, if we paid the four life, we'd have to spend, like, two mana on her with, um, with Omnath. Like, obviously we have to spend the three green that we get from her, but we could spend four life and the three green and only have two colorless left over as the requirement for actually casting her in a turn. So, actually leaves us with mana to do other stuff, potentially. That being said, I don't think what she's doing is quite strong enough. Uh, like, similarly to Obliterator, Vindicator's just gonna get hit by a Wrath effect most of the time. And it's not particularly impressive otherwise. Like, yeah, the words on it are very scary, but... They won't come up anywhere near as often. Like, nobody's attacking into this thing just to throw the damage in some other direction. Except, like, you know, okay, I'm going to attack you with my 7-7 seven, seven, so that way we can team up to destroy this thing with 7 Toughness or 7 Loyalty and get it off of the table. That's, like, the only way people are attacking into this. And nobody is blocking it, unless they're blocking it with something they don't care about, and the thrown around damage isn't relevant. You know, like, oh, I have a 1-1 one, one flyer, I'm just going to chump block, and if you want to kill, you know, somebody else's one toughness creature, or, you know, deal a damage to me, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, most of the time I don't think Vindicator is going to do much more than being, like, a 5-5 five, five flyer. <laughs> That's hard to block. That's extra hard to block. You know, if it were a 5-5 five, five Flying Menace, it would probably be about the same for what it's going to do in most games. Like, I am nearly impossible to block profitably. Okay, cool. Sulfim. Do anything that Staff of Completion helps with. Sword, Battle Chair, no. Ekathal. <sighs> Eternal Wanderer is always tempting. Just because we get to keep uh, Omnath when we wrath the board. At the cost of, you know, opponents get to keep a creature too, so if they only have one good creature, you have to leave them with it. But aside from, like, Urel and, um, Zer decks, most decks tend to have more than one creature anyway, so... But there will be some times where it's just like, no, I only have the one creature right now, so that's what I'm casting, and that's what we're doing stuff with. It's just like, oh, really wish I could kill specifically that, but you have no other creatures. Um... Yeah, we can add her to the list, just so that way we have... ...another Wrath Effect... ...that we can use. I don't need any of the sphere lands, thirsting roots, run new, Tyranax, Tyranax Rex. Yeah, no, just a big dumb creature, and I don't really care or need the toxic, so. Also, it's like, what, toxic four, right? So it's not even a two shot from full, like. 
actually has to hit the same player three times. Because we're not going to proliferate either, so. Roska. Let me White Sun's Twilight and Zopen Drill. I have triple green in her casting cost. This all will be one. Um, all will be one commander. Add in the old set number thing. Uh, strike force no, mockery no, pod no. Um, third player draws X and loses X or X is the number of artifacts I control. Nope. Uh, affinity for artifacts, flying haste. Those are the top five cards of your library. You may cast an artifact spell from among them this turn. If you do, it has affinity for artifacts. Yeah, no. Does not seem like what I'm going to be doing. Uh, Flying Vigilance, Toxic 2, Corrupted. Uh, Exile is the top card of their library, face down. Yeah, no, we don't need that. Uh, right. Yeah, we, we're not a token deck. Uh, get some experience counter, then create a 2 2 rebel. Captain attacking for each experience counter. And return from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Nope. Um, Vishgras is menace, toxic one. Create three mites. And plus one, plus one for each poison counter opponents have. Nope. Gain Sunburst, which I don't think we're running that many artifact creatures. Uh, if there are 30 or more counters among artifacts and creatures you control, deals 10 damage to each opponent. Tap each mirror. Yeah, we don't need Urtet either. Uh, any number of target non-land permits you control phase out. Uh, equip creature at least one other creature attack. Draw a card. Plus one for each creature you control. Commander you control enters the battlefield or attacks proliferate. No. Whenever a player attacks, if one or more players being attacked are poisoned, the attacking player draws a card. Whenever you create one or more tokens, put a story counter on it, remove a story counter, draw a card. Um, restless Outbreak. So, create five, two, two rebels, they gain haste, and I can attach equipment to them. Equip creature attacks. If it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap each attacking creature and get an additional combat step. Tokens have haste. Uh, you may pay red and one if you do. Creatures attacking your opponents and or planeswalkers they control get plus two power. Tap add red. Sacrifice the XX colorless golem token. to the contaminant grafter um retriever worm quake and don't need the glistening sphere okay so, after phyrexia we go to planar chaos The Wedge Dragons are all from Planar Chaos, right? So. I can't be countered. Flying Trample, Pro White and Blue, and Fire Breathing and Morph. Nope.
Game Hunter, Blood Knight. Nation. We could run Damnation as just our default way of graphing the board. Since Black Man is easier on our mana base than anything else, out of all of the Wraths, it's the one we have the easiest time casting consistently, so. Like, even if we don't have double black somehow, if we float our mana with Omnath in play, change phases, and go to second main, we can Damnation, so. Not that I'm thrilled about killing Omnath, but if that's the position we're in, things seem to be going horribly wrong and we don't have enough of any of our colors. We managed to get him out. Groundbreaker, Harmonize. I don't think we need to gain 20 life randomly. Okay, so Intet is you may pay blue and two, exile the top card of your library face down. You may look at that card and you may play that card without paying its mana cost for as long as it re for as long as Intet remains on the battlefield. It does, like, Intet has to connect, but... She is three, uh, green, blue, red. And six, six, dragon. But with all the, um top of the deck manipulation like that seems like one of the strongest possible ones that we could have in the deck like she connects and then we get to cast you know one of our other giant bomby spells effectively for free uh, I don't think we need jet it that bounce over anything else though in between damnation and there because I feel like I wasn't actually looking at stuff again I got distracted by A, Damnation and how it works in the deck, and B, like, terrible cards like Dichotomancy down here. Uh, enters your leaves, get a creature card from our graveyard to our hand. Said no to Groundbreaker and Harmony. Okay, and this is where I started actually paying attention again. Okay. No, no, no to the Maguses, I believe. Anative. Yeah, Melissa. Mesa Enchantress. Melissa Enchantress. Miri, Mycologist. Uh, Numot destroys lands, right? Yeah, we don't need him then. Uh, deals three damage to each non white creature. No. Yeah, there's, like, some chance of Teneb, I believe, but I don't think any of the other dragons. Like, Inted is definitely the best out of the ones that we could take from this set. Yeah, Radya. Heather. Mark Knight. Roiling Horror. Page Shaper. Sulfur, Sunlance, Pearl Extortion. Uh, Teneb the Harvester deals combat damage to a player. You may pay black and two. If you do put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Yeah, that's the next best one, and I think we can do better for reanimating effects, too. So, don't need Urbor, because making black mana is the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, Voros just gets bigger herself, himself. I forget which one Vorosh is. I'm pretty sure Intet's a girl, and the other ones are all guys, but as far as dragons go, <laughs> I cannot remember which one Vorosh is supposed to be. 
Oops. Planar Chaos, not Dragons. Uh, plane Chase, second Plane Chase. Like the second plane chase work the way I want it to? Will this just give me the new cards? No, it just puts them in color order. Okay. I didn't think so, but I was hoping. I don't need Baleful Strix. Needleback Chief. Brindle Shout. Dragon Lair Spider. I think this is where Dragon Lair Spider was from originally. And yeah, I don't particularly need it. Um, cost two less to cast, <clears throat> and opponents cost two more to cast. Um, oh no, Enigma Sphinx is from Alara. Okay. Oh, Ethereum Sorcerer is from the thing, though. But yeah, I don't. Him, uh, Eldar Umbra, Bloom Armor, Power Stone, New, Right Hatchling, Glory the Snowling, Rick Umbra, First Strike, and all creatures able to block it do so. Guys, Frond, the last stand we said no to. I don't think we need the Maelstrom Wanderer. Like, we have a handful of cards that do Cascade, but I don't think we actually need the Maelstrom Wanderer in addition to that. Yeah, it is from the set. Okay, deals damage to any target equal to the number of 1-1 one, one counters on Prey Season. Meh. Sai of the Shinobi, no. Sakashima Student, no. Heartless Agent, no. Romok is Devour X, where X is the number of creatures it devoured. Nightclad, no. Okay. Clean Chase. Plane Shift. Then the portal sets. I don't think anything in portal is super color intensive. Could be wrong about that. There's probably like one or two cards, but. Every player draws cards for each basic land type among lands they control. Five mana. Nope. Or more importantly, five mana sorcery. We could actually five mana instant draw five. That'd be great. Great. Uh, return target permanent to owner's hand. Destroy target non-black creature. Can't be regenerated. Destroy target artifact. Uh, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Deal three damage to any target. Creature gets plus three, plus three. Dark suspicions. Definitely no destructive flow. That's actively bad for us. No to Spectre, no to Draco, Sade. Gain five life, counter spell, minus two, minus two until end of turn. Nope. Uh, no to Urtai. Hell no. Actual hell no. We need Hole Breach for this deck. I think we have enough variants on that.
Marsh Crocodile, Meddling Mage, Natural Emergence. Uh, player draws a card that player loses two life unless they pay two. Nope. Just playing Walker cards. Uh, gives them a bow. Protection from black and red, and they gain two life. Flying, and they can. Nope. Um, no, I don't think so. Radiant. Havu. Fist Charm. Destroy target non-basic land. Make three one ones. Prevent all damage the source of your choice would deal this turn. Nope. Ugh. Sawtooth Loon, no. Doing Worm. Silver Drake. Sleeping Potion. Arc Caster. No. For the Stormscapes. Sunscapes. Tarngarth, Terminate, Thorn and Thunderscapes, no, Trevis Charm, destroy target enchantment, exile target attacking creature, draw a card, then discard a card. Nope. Okay. Alright, so it's Plane Shift, onward to Portal then. Yeah, I've been going for two hours now already. Just now notice the time. Hey. Okay. Uh, again, note ancestral memories. Hmm. Versal, Bog Wraith. Argent Rhino. Rule bargain. Um, no. Yeah, if I didn't go with the infernal one, then I don't think I need the cruel one either. Uh, no to Dread Reaper. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains I control. Nope. Not quite. Giant Octopus, Gift of States, Grave Digger, Harsh Justice, Hulking Cyclops, Assassin, Lava Flow, Man of War. Rats. Bludging Horde. Um, sacrifice unless you sack three forests? No. No, no, silly primeval force. Again, I don't think we need any of the tutors that are sorcery speed. <clears throat> Just not helping us the way I need them to. Virtue's Ruin, no. Wall of Granite. Wicked Pact. Have a god. Okay. That was the first portal set. Second portal set. Here, Boring Scent, Archangel, Royal 
worm that is deep new. Matron and Harmony, Hidden Horror, Jagged Lightning. Magma Giant, Warwood Priestess, Booger Arsonist, Nope, Daggers No, Raise Dead, Razor Claw Bear, Huntless Assault, Return of the Night Stalkers, Righteous Fury, Catapult, the Random People from Talus, Temporal Manipulation, Touch of Brilliance, no. Go to all these. Okay. And Portal 3 Kingdoms. Uh, shoot. Infantry, Balance of Power, General, Borrowing Arrows, Borrowing the East Wind. Yay. Cow Cow, Cow Wren, Capture. Visors. Uh, Diochan Chan Yu Jong Hunt Vita eh, Still probably not Bruder and Seal Ping Chong the retainers. Yeah. <sighs> we do have a bunch of legendaries in the deck. I don't know that we actually need loyal retainers, though. That they're going to be worth the effort of making space in the deck for them. Um, no, no, whoa, horses, um, savages, savaging horde, and the Delu horse. Earthquake, no. Various shoe soldiers. Ema. Those of victory. Draw soldiers. Sensei. Someone. Maybe three visits. Train Cheetah, no. Tripwire, no. Warrior's Oath. Various folk from way. 
We need Zhao done. Though we do have some interesting things to return if we bounce back most of the um, ultimatums and such, um, casualties of war. Yeah, Zhao Dun is not particularly hurting for targets, but I don't think we need him. Zodiac Creatures, and Zuo C. Mocking Sage. Okay, I think it's Zuo Chi, but I could be wrong. Alright, so that was Portal. Uh, premium Decks, Promos on Gather, Prophecy. Alright, aside from trying to tempt me with Rhystic Study, which will probably fail at this point, what have you got for me? Uh, none of the avatars, none of the winds, I don't think. Yeah, all of those are like two colors and then tons of colorless, so. Nature. Build a mind racker. Next is the mill card's mana value. Well, we certainly can manipulate that card. I think we can do better than that. The lion. Outbreak. Overburden. Plague wind. Rebel informer. Various Rhystic cards, including Study, Root Cage, Spider. Oh no, that's just Root Cage. Is there a Root Cage Spider? I feel like there's a spider with like weird cage like ribs on its endoskeleton. That's the card I'm thinking of. Uh, search for Survivors, no. Oh, there we go, we can run Shrouded Serpent. That's unblockable unless the defender pays four when it attacks. That seems fine, right? Veteran Brawlers, the Snapper, the two different wells, Drop a Minotaur. Word to Ravnica Allegiance. There we go. Uh, still don't need Absorb. Um, Don't need Angel of Grace, Amplifier, Biomancy, Waken the Erstwhile, no, there's Lockets, uh, enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card and you gain three life. Nope. Uh, Bedeck Bedazzle. Ah, we could run Bedevil. Does meet the requirements. And it's pretty versatile. Alright, I will consider it. Nope. There we go. Bedevil is black red for an instant, I believe. It is an instant, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's one of the things that makes it worth playing, is it being an instant. 
uh, three damage to target opponent. They discard two cards. And Carnival deals one damage to target creature or planeswalker and one damage to that permanent's controller. Advocate of Calamity. Charging Warbore. Cinder Vines. Collision Colossus. No. Consecrate Consume. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. And sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures they control, and I gain life. I think so. I have the Carnarium. Pose deploy. 2 1 1 Thopters for 4. Or tap target creature, draw a card for 2. Don't need the Deputy of Detention. Don't need Domery Chaos Bringer. Eh, don't need either Dovins, I don't think. Electro Dominance. Mildly tempting as an X spell that deals X damage, since it would allow me to also um, potentially cast one of the other big spells still, and at instant speed. Eh. Maybe then. We at least have to consider it, I think. Electro. Red and X or two red and X? Two red and X. Red instant. The rester. Emergency powers. And raise forerunners. Like if we didn't take um, Crater Hoof from Avacyn, I don't think we need Enray's Forerunners from here. I don't think we took Crater Hoof. I could be wrong. It's been so long now with all these different cards. Like we've looked at nearly every card in the history of Magic here. Um, Frilled Mystic, no. But yeah, I can't even remember if we thought Crater Hoof might possibly make the deck back then. Honestly, neither answer would surprise me, because Crater Hoof seems kind of like, meh, but it was still early on. So I wasn't sure what I was going to be running yet. Uh, Ebation Incongruity... No. Asian Druid, no. I have the Usurper. No. Vinia, no. Mass Manipulation. Eh. So we get three blue discounted. So it's still three to steal one thing. And then plus two, so three, five, seven in that vein. Eh. Probably not. We can probably do better. Old ways. Pitiless Pontiff, Speaker Vanifar, After Demon, Firewheeler, 
And two damage up to one entire creature or planeswalker. Nope. No stopper. Ravager Worm. Uh, enters the battlefield, choose up to one. Fight target creature you don't control. Destroy target land with an activate ability that isn't a mana ability. And has Riot. Yeah, probably not. Create a token that's a copy of target creature I control. Counter target activated or triggered ability. A resolute Watchdog, Revival Revenge. Wild Smotty Reveler. Is Rhythm of the Wild just better than um, Fires of Yavamai in our deck? So, on the one hand, we can give our stuff haste and we can sack the fires to give plus two, plus two. On the other hand, we can give things haste, and if haste isn't good, we get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on them. Yeah, maybe fires is still better. Like, we want the haste. Like, that's what we're putting it in for. So, if we're only using it for the haste, then the um, fires is better, because we can sacrifice it mid-combat to deal extra damage. Whereas, if we want extra damage, we don't get haste off of the... Uh, rhythm. This turn, enter spellfield, discard a card, then draw a card. If its spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand and draw three. Nope. Taker, Savage Smash, Scorch Mark, Scuttle Gator. Care from the Scale, Shark to Crab, Simic Ascendancy. Do we want Smothering Tithe at all? Probably not. Like, it would be fine in the deck to pressure opponents to try and get more mana to work with faster, but I think ultimately we don't need it. I think some new prov. Nope. Uh, deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Nope. No. I don't think we have enough death triggers to care about Tesa. Haunt of Hightower, no. Theater. A thrash threat. Dodger, Titanic Brawl. Hive Taker. Guardian, Breakable Formation, Verity Circle, Warrant Warden, New, no. 
Got a Utopia speaker and Zertog Goblin. Okay. Ravnica Allegiance. Then Ravnica City of Guilds, then return to Ravnica. Argos Kosnu, Arduk Thonworm, probably not. I mean, we could shave some of the men off, and it would only cost us 12 for a 914. Trample. Uh, Blazing Archon. Little bit tempting. Um, like, just by existing, we can't be attacked until it's killed, so... So we have to go cycle back around. So Blazing Archon. Six and triple white. Archon. What's its actual stats? Five, six. Yeah. Blood Funnel, no. Oro stuff, no. Brain Spoil. Uh, deals X damage to target creature and each other creature that shares a color with it, and I gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Like, it will hit Omnath, because it literally can't not hit him. I don't think that I care enough, so... Court of Calling we probably want, though. That seems good. X, green, green, green. Core base. It is an instant. Okay. It's been so long. I didn't think so, though, because it is in my uh, wrist deck, although my brother plays that more than I do. Uh, Forest Walk. Cost to cast creature spells. You may pay an additional amount of mana. If you do, that creature enters with that many 1 1 counters. Don't think so. Circu, no. Civic Wayfinder, no. Clutch. Negation. Effort. Sages, Confidant, Guild Mage, Discard, other Demir cards. I'm not. Don't make enough tokens or counters to care about doubling season. Rudion. I have the storm no our main angel I think I need her for anything plain can sell it haste until end of turn nope Bit of fancy of ideas followed footsteps. How um, 
courage, organ, innocent. And then return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. <clears throat> Sacrifice it to draw a card, it has dredge one. Okay. Don't think we need the gross off. Not even particularly good if we cheat it in. Um Eldozer almost seems too mean. <laughs> like uh, here's this thing that can just keep destroying lands every turn. And it's not like we won't be able to generate the black mana we need for it. On the other hand, it does seem like it fits perfectly in the deck, so I should consider it at least. Three, black, black, black. The zombie giant, I think? Those are zombie giant, 6-5. We'll get his stats right eventually. Hunted dragon, hunted hard, no creatures are making it. No, no, no. He's no to that. Um, I don't think we need the mind leap mass. Like its actual ability is okay, but even with the uh, functional ramp we get from our commander, still don't think it's worth it. There's Phytohydra, who can't be dealt damage. Just gets bigger instead. Other permanents I control have Hexproof. Five mana. I don't think so. A little bit tempting. Flying Vigilance Haste. The next three damage will be dealt to target creature you control this turn. It's dealt to another target creature instead. It's eight mana. Five, most likely. So. No, Lavra, no, during meditation, no, no, more no's, much more no's, all right, Sisters of the Stone Death, so, gonna be five mana to cast, um, target creature blocks them if able, exile target creature blocking or blocked by them, and put a creature card exiled with them onto the battlefield under my control. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so with the Gorgons. Sorry, ladies. Uh, do we care at all about Sazdak? Probably not. Um, put that many 1-1 counters on that player mills that many cards. Nope. Didn't think so. Also more wolf blood. Fighting tail, no. Bigger mortis, no. Vine lasher, Vitsugazi. Definitely no to Warp World. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I think Return to Ravnica is going to be it. Been going for two and a half hours now. Starting to fade a little bit, so I think we've done enough.
Uh, exile up to three other target creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards and return the exile cards to owner's hand. She's all right, but not amazing. I don't think we need her. Um, Armada Worm. Just this year. Also new. Chaos Imps. Probably are interested in Chromatic Lantern, though. Pick Lantern. Read for an artifact. Flooding. Codex Shredder. Collective Blessing. No. Flux. I don't need Cyclonic Rift in this deck. Dead Bridge Goliath, no. Deathrite Shaman, no. Epic Experiment, don't think so. Essence Backlash, no. Gavel, Fire Mines Foresight, no. Ogari Charm, Long Legs, Grave Betrayal. Roused about, Growing Ranks, Guild Feud, I don't think so. Dragon. Uh, creature attacks you or planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. For each creature card in your graveyard, sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses life equal to its power. Graveyard to hand. Nope. Orders, no guild mages. Die night. There's no. Uh, this Niv miss it. Um. Deals damage to a player, you may draw a card, and red and blue deal damage to any target. <sighs> Should be relatively easy to at least draw one card with niv Mizzet before he dies, so... niv -Mizzet. This is the Draco Genius one. Still a hyphen in this. Two blue, blue, red, red. Dragon Wizard five five. Okay. Black rat at all. Race course. Rakdos, Lord of Riots. Oh, 
know, security blockade. Almost right as stockade, and I'm like, or or stock blade. I was very confused for a second. Like I said, I'm starting to get that, like, soreness around the eyes thing, so we're gonna, we're gonna end it after this one, but I wanted to make it through all of the Ravnica sets that were left. Get to a good stopping point. Yep. Oh, there's Sphinx's Revelation, which I probably want to think about at least, so... X, Y, instant. That one. Street spasm. I probably don't want Supreme Verdict. Again, we probably just want Damnation. The pay. But. At least as far as kill everything wraths go. Life equal to its toughness and popular. Nope. Uh, Vitsugazi Guild Mage. Vasco the Unseen. World Spine Worm, no. And that's it. Okay. So yeah, that's going to do it for me for today. Ended on Return to Ravnica. And I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day. I do a little bit of the busy work for maintenance on this thing so I don't lose my spot and whatnot. Good.